Hello everyone and welcome back. Today in this tutorial we will be discussing about handling errors in Comsol. This is one of the most uh, requested topics in Comsol Multiphysics and I get a ton of mail regarding this also. So I thought why not make a tutorial about handling errors. So I purposely made some uh, mistakes in this model just to show you what happens when you get an error and how to try to solve those errors. Of course, uh, if your model is quite complex and there is some issue related to boundary condition or convergence or maybe if you are working on an electrochemical modeling and there is some inconsistency between the equation then it might be slightly difficult to handle the error but for typical errors uh, i think that can be fixed easily so let's see uh, how we can fix it so i'll just try to compute the model and you will see that i get an error that is it says feature stationary solver one undefined variable variable name is vget okay and in geometry boundary fail to evaluate and so on it is saying the variable v get it is getting some error so how can we fix this now if your model is quite complex it is quite hard to go through each setting uh, check where that variable is there and so on so it might be quite tough now one of the quickest way used to use an interesting feature that is find and replace which we generally use in microsoft word and other software so i'll just go on to here and i'll just click on name now here it will show the name of all the components in the model builder and if you click on tag it will show the tags and the type okay so it looks tidy to select the name so i will just press ctrl f in my keyboard if uh, we are using windows and you will see that find and replace tab will be in the software now uh, we got an error that is we need to find the variable v gate okay by the way in the study tab when you get an error you can click on this error icon and you can access the error uh, message so i'll just copy this and paste it you can also type it as well and i'll click on search now when i click on search what it does it will check through all the different settings and nodes and it will search for this text you can see that i have defined a v gate in the electric potential too that means in the electric current interface in the electric potential 2 there must be a v get so you can see that i have the variable defined here now it says unknown variable that means it is not defined in the parameter so what we can do we can go on to the parameter and define the variable so this is the get voltage and i'll just type one so let's say the get voltage is one now the problem should be fixed now if i go on to study and then let's say i cycle over the gate voltage and i write minus or i'll just write 0 1 and 2 now i'll cycle the gate voltage and the source voltage and i'll click on study now again i get an error now what is the error it says that undefined material property sigma required by current conservation one now sigma means conductivity we all know it but let's say we got an error that we are unable to find so we can just copy it again you can go on to find and replace and just paste and click on search now when you search you will see that uh, it might have a lot of different components but in short you will be able to understand that it has to deal with something related to uh, connectivity then uh, you can go on to the material property and then change it 
you can see that the sigma is in the material definition so definitely the error would be something related to material and of course from the icon itself uh, it says cross that means we need to input the electrical connectivity that is sigma so i'll just enter 0 0.01 and 1 just for simplicity and now i can click on compute and run the model so the model will run and i have the result so i'll just click on get voltage one and yes i have the voltage and the current data at the get voltage one and get voltage two so this is how you try to fix the errors that you get in Comsol Multiphysics. I hope this tutorial helps. I actually forgot to mention few more stuff. That is, let's say you are working on a super complicated model, for example, battery thermal runaway and stuff, or maybe some kind of uh, lithium ion battery modeling that may involve multiple physics and different components, geometries, and so on. In that case, when you are uh, oversaturated with a lot of terms what you can do you can always filter uh, with the node for example you can just uh, select node names and click ok and depending on the node names it will be filtered and of course you can filter the node as well so for example if I write let's say EC and click on ok and click on search now what, what it will do basically it will search through the electric current physics and it will search where sigma is present within the electric current physics by the way all the equation view you can see here don't get confused this is basically if you click on the equation view here are the sigmas and in the find and replace it is actually detecting all the sigmas that are present in the equation view and in your software, if you are unable to see the equation view, you can always click here in the eye icon and just tick the equation view if it is available in your software and click OK and you will have the equation view. Basically in the equation view, for example, if you are working on advanced modeling, you will be able to modify the equation of your simulation. So in general, let's say you are working on some kind of a Maxwell's equation and for your particular model, you need a modified version of the Maxwell's equation and so on. In that case, you'll be able to modify the equation. But you need to be very careful uh, about changing the different uh, components in this equation as well. Since people struggle a lot related to handling errors in the software, it will be nice uh, if people just comment whatever errors they're getting and everyone can reply to them about possible solution so this is a error series and i will have multiple videos in this series and everything will be uh, kept in the description in a single playlist so that you can follow along in the next lesson of this error series i will talk about the convergence and the possible errors and how to fix it in Multi Multiphysics. thanks for watching and have a nice day ahead